my channel saying hello from a new location we are in Australia we've moved here now for a while we're gonna give it a go and we're now just currently driving down to the beach in our new car <laughs> so we were car shopping for ages we yeah we just couldn't find a car that we liked. well we did we had just lots of options there were plenty of cars out there that we enjoyed but yeah we ended up going with this one and it's beautiful it's got a sunroof do you want to do the honors it. Ah! <laughs> and it opens oh very bougie <laughs> We actually only realized that it can do that yesterday after we've signed for the car. We hadn't even noticed that the um, window can actually open. So it's very nice, a nice treat. So yeah, we're going to drive down to the beach. The weather is so nice. It's very hot, but um, we're going to a beach we, that was actually really local to us last time we were here and living here. So we're gonna go back to that beach. And um, yeah, Jacob's gonna try and surf. He's missed surfing. So that's what he's gonna do. And I'm just going to relax on the sand and hopefully it won't be too hot. But um, if it does get hot, I'll just wander around the area. I'll take you guys with me. It's also jacaranda season here. So we've come back at a really nice pretty time of the year because all most of the trees here turn purple in springtime as you can see so it's been lovely. Ah, oh, this is the area where we used to live and it looks exactly the same. <laughs> There's, so, there's always so much traffic around here that I guess this time of day it's all right. And there's the beach, the water. Oh, it's nice being back here. And the shops. looking a bit choppy out there it's a bit rough so I don't think Jacob will be out there for long but at least it's some exercise for him I'm just walking it was our local beach so it was very it's very nice to be walking around here again gosh it was a bit disturbing just now I walked past eight dead birds. They're just all dead on the sand. I'm really not sure why they're all dead. Like, and they're like next to each other. So if anyone knows why there's dead birds on the beaches, please let me know. Yeah, it's quite alarming. I'm a bit shocked by that. Eight birds. And I think if I keep walking down, I'd spot more. But there was like literally six huddled all together. I don't want to film them, but yeah, there's like six all together. And then there's like two more here. There's one behind me as well. Oh, I don't know. In the car and um, I actually ended up googling why the 
there's so many dead birds around. Um, I ended up filming a bit of them because I was like, oh, I wanted to bring awareness to it. Um, but it's because these birds actually haven't completely managed to complete their migration journey across. So they must have really gotten exhausted midway through their journey and unfortunately fell in the water, lack of nutrition um, and exhaustion and all that stuff um, is the cause of why there's so many birds washing up on the shores here and especially around the northern beaches which is where we are currently. So that's why, but it's really sad, but I'm glad it was I'm glad I googled it because I started to make some horrible scenarios in my head and like going why are people being so cruel but it is actually sadly climate change which again is horrible we're now gonna go and grab something to eat uh, we're thinking to grab some fish and chips so we're just gonna go find parking again and also I've got a book here um, which I want to put into one of the street libraries around here and hopefully get a new one that takes my fancy so I was reading The Berlin Inheritance I love Philippa Gregory her stories are fantastic and I love that era of her writing and that history so this was a great book although not as good as others I've read so I think I'm rating it a three out of five but yes I'll take you with me again to see if we find a little street library <laughs> to the seafood place that's literally yeah. on the same beach we were on we just parked um, somewhere outside the beach parking because it was free and we weren't going to pay more so we drove out but walked back in mm -hmm. yummy now time to go and put my book in the street library coming up to it oh i think i can see it show you a quick shopping haul of what we got at the supermarket got a banana they're delicious and they're quite cheap at the moment so I got one of them I got milk for an organic as well for cereal and breakfast Jacob got some bacon we got some steak sandwiches for lunch it was on special I don't really like buying meat that much i'm trying to reduce that uh, but when it's on special i feel like it's not too bad um and some bread to go with our steak sandwiches and that's it so i also got this book from the street library it actually it sounds quite interesting and it's about the jewish children during world war ii so I quite like reading about that sort. Oh God, I'm just looking. Oh, I'm a bit burnt. Um, I did put sun cream on, but anyway. But yeah, looking forward to reading this. Forgot to mention, I also got this. I ended up getting the Manuka Honey and Almond Shampoo Bar. So I'll give this a go. I've not heard of this brand before. 
So hopefully it'll be good because I'm out of shampoo soads and it was on special. I realized I didn't do an outro for that video. It ended up being a really nice day. We, as you saw, we went to the beach. We then had some fish and chips, bought some food for our lunch that day, then went charity shop browsing. Although that charity shop is so expensive. I was just, to be honest, it's always been so expensive. So nothing has changed there. But yeah, I was just like, wow, $22 for a dress. That's like 11 pounds. I was like, no, 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 no. But yeah, I mean, they have okay stuff. I didn't really spend much time in there. I just kind of thought I'd browse a little bit. And then, yeah, we came home and it was a very long day. The car was really nice to drive in for the first time. Because I think that was exactly the day we collected the car. And we just thought, why not? Let's just go to the beach that same day. Thank you all for watching this far. Um, I don't know if maybe I'll end this video here. I'll see how long the content of that video is. But if it's not long enough, then I will see you again very shortly. So it's been a few days since I've last checked in. And I decided to carry on this blog actually, just because I think the first part of that video was a bit short so I said well since we're going into the city again today I'll just vlog that and add that in and um, we've been having quite a few yeah we actually yesterday we had a really lazy day well it was a lazy but productive day we started applying to lots of jobs and yeah just catching up really trying to get our life together we've also just met up with a few friends over the week and that was really nice we had our little friends reunion we went to a cafe and I had an acai bowl it was really delicious and yeah it was really chaotic because everyone now has kids so but I mean they're really all they're all really sweet and it's it was nice to see them because they've all grown so much so yeah, it's, it's always a surprise whenever you don't see kids, especially after such a long time, because they grow so quickly. But anyway, today we are going, like I said, into the city, but um, not right in the center. We're going to a place called the Mossman, and we're just gonna explore there, because it's meant to be a really hot day. Actually, tomorrow is the hottest day of the year, but today is pretty close. I think it's about 35 today, maybe. So. <laughs> And I hate the heat, so I really struggle in the heat. So we'll see how we go. We're, we're heading up quite early just to sort of avoid that heat. But yeah, Mossman is really nice. It kind of reminds me a bit of Chiswick in the UK, in London. Um, it's got that sort of Chiswick vibe. <laughs> so we'll explore there, maybe go to a cafe, grab pastry. Jacob needs a good coffee. He hasn't had a good coffee here. Well, he hasn't just gone out for a coffee yet. And Australia is really good for their coffees. Very, very good. So we'll try and get that. Go for a walk down the beach there. There's a beach called Balmoral. It's very cute. It's very small, but that'll be lovely. We'll see how busy that is. We're not going to go in the water. We'll just have a little day out. We'll see just how our day goes. <laughs> along in the shade and then once we get to the end we'll take off our shoes and actually walk in the sand it's actually quite busy for a tuesday morning it's also like a posh area so i'm guessing lots of these people are rich and don't need to work <laughs>
enjoying a moment in the shade. Last time I was here, I used to work just on the high street and I used to come to this park on my lunch break. was just so eye-catching. I ended up grabbing this edition of The Kite Runner because Khalid Hosseini is one of my favorite authors and the original copy that I have is so annotated that it, I mean I, I have it still but when I saw this edition it was just so pretty not to take with me so I'm happy with that buy. And then I want to show you because I bought the nicest Christmas decoration. I just couldn't. I couldn't go past it without buying it. It's a oh look. I can't wait to show you. Ta -da! <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? It's a wombat with its Christmas hat on, and it's so cute. I love it. Love it so so much. And um, yeah, those were my only buyers of today. We are now going home. It has been a very warm, although not as warm as we thought it was going to be. Well, it is, but we just didn't feel it as much in this area. My face tells me otherwise. <laughs> I'm very red and sweaty. But no, it's been a good day. Just going to go home and I'll try and edit this video.